What is up guys, welcome back to Bottled in Bond. Today is Sunday, and well, it might not be Sunday when you're watching this, but it's Sunday and it's just about eight o'clock, maybe, uh, 8 a.m., not p.m., uh, a little before eight, and everyone's still asleep. And to be quite honest, this is possibly the only time that I get a chance to record moving forward so anyways today we're actually gonna head over to tennessee uh but don't worry we're not trying no jack and no dickle juice this time today we're actually headed over to the old forge distillery in pigeon forge and we're gonna try out something that was gifted to me by joey joey and jamie but mostly joey let's just go ahead and just say joey <laughs> So Joey Kiesel, which is the uh, uh, uncle, and, and Jamie, which is the aunt of uh, Amanda, I like to, instead of calling them Kiesels, I like to call them the Kegels. <laughs> Anyways, he gifted me this. I'm, I'm curious to try it out, so uh, let's check it out. So this is Cyclone Gym. <laughs> Listen, this is an expensive item, and I only got to know that it was an expensive item because Joey just so happened to leave his receipt in the bag uh, when it was given to me and in my opinion, I think it was his way of saying listen, man I'm giving you this expensive gift. How about you give me something too?" Joke anyway, um, so this is coming from Old Forge distillery and the thing about Old Forge is that when we were escaping a hurricane whatever the hell its name was back in 2000 whenever the hell it was uh, <clears throat> I Believe it was 2018 before uh, little as was born um we were uh, leaving Jacksonville. We went all the way down to Pigeon Forge. We had a blast. I mean, besides drinking way too much moonshine, uh, we did have a blast. But we did happen to uh, stop by the Old Forge Distillery and have some moonshine then. This is Cyclone Gym. And this is barrel number 22, tack 29. Maybe that's a zero for anybody who's interested. This is a non-chill uh, filtered. So this is my thing. They put straight Tennessee bourbon whiskey. So for something to be called straight bourbon, you have to age it for at least two years. Right here. Age it for 12. Now, do I work there? No. Do I know if it was truly aged for 12? No. But they put it on the bottle. So it should have been aged for 12 years. So here's my thing. If it was aged for 12 years, that means that back in 2018 when we visited the distillery, it was currently aging. Um, so this is an actual gift pack that comes with a pretty neat uh, ceramic looking uh, Glencairn. Now, obviously I'm not gonna try the, uh, the whiskey in this and um, the difference in this and a typical Glencairn is that the Glencairn is topped off, it's cut off at right here. This is just glass at the bottom. This one actually has a hole. So no, if you're wondering, do not try your whiskey in this. This is uh, just the uh, decoration for you to keep around your uh, bar so i'm very curious to know what this is going to taste like only reason i say that is because whenever it comes from a distillery that makes moonshine you're expected to taste a whole lot of corn keener uh shanton 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 i want to say is the headmaster distiller over at uh, old forge now the thing about cyclone gym is uh Sorry about the stoneware, so I'll just set that off to the side. The thing about Cyclone Gym is apparently Cyclone Gym was the first horse that was um, around in that area. He was a uh, Cyclone Gym was a uh, resident of uh, Pigeon Forge, um, and I don't know much else about that. There's a little history you can read all about it online. This, that, and the third. I am interested to see what I'm gonna pick up, so I'm not gonna keep you guessing. Let's try this baby out. Oh, man. Oh, sweet, nutty. There's something else in there, though. Listen, Joey, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. I love you. I really do. But if this tastes like crap, this is bottled in bond. Honest reviews. It's going to taste like crap. Now, I'm going to keep it honest. You know, that it's not... Whenever somebody gives me a gift, I, I, I'm honest. Amanda gave me a uh, dickle juice aged, I forget how many years. 
uh, I want to say it was like 17 or something, and it was just musty nastiness. And although the bottle was like 70 something bucks or so, it was garbage. Sorry. Oh man, this is sweet. This is sweet. Um, almost like a peanut brittle. Hmm. Cherry marmalade. Now, so of course you get the honey, you get the nuttiness, but this is more like a peanut brittle, toffee, dark cherry notes, more like a marmalade. It's just a sweet bomb, man, to the nose. This is very pleasant to the nose. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I don't know if there's anything else on there. The more I smell it, the more malty, woody I start to get, but... Yeah, initially on the nose, man. Sweet, honey, um, toffee, peanut brittle, cherry. Like a cherry marmalade or a cherry uh, spread. This is good. Cheers. Okay. This is different. It has those spices. As a different, it's not as sweet going in. It's more mellow, but instantly you get hit with that cinnamon, sweet spice cinnamon, kind of like that. Uh, I go back to this, the Boston baked beans, because you're still getting that peanutty, you know, kind of like a peanut butter, a little bit of a caramel, salted caramel, spicy cinnamon to it. So. Almost like the Boston Baked Beans candy, that sweetness, that robust peanut, that, that robust as well uh, cinnamon. Still with that honey, still with that sweetness. Yeah, you know, it's, it's different. It does not remind me of anything Jack related. Kind of starts to feel like Dicko a little bit, but not in the musty fashion. You can tell it's different. I will say though, the proof on that. So let me just reiterate why this is above 70, 80 bucks. This is 12 years. And as we all know, the longer you keep that spirit in that barrel, the more it's going to evaporate. The angel shares, right? The angel shares go away. So you're left with less and less and less. And the more that bottle or that spirit or that barrel got taxed, the higher they have to, you know, sell it for. So I don't blame them for the price point. I will say this, the flavor itself tastes more like a $50, $60 price range. This one's a little bit higher, but the flavor is not bad at all. I'm not freaking flying off this chair saying this is freaking super delicious. It's very pleasant on the nose. On the palate, it's unique. It's a little bit different, but it's still good. I don't hate it whatsoever. I'm Ozzy, and this is Cyclone Gym aged 12 years, Tennessee straight bourbon whiskey from the uh, Old Forge Distillery in Pigeon Forge. I will say this, if you guys have not been to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, hit it up. Really nice town, really close to uh, Gatlinburg, about an hour or two away from the uh, Jack Daniels Distillery. You guys should definitely hit it up. Be careful, you know, what different counties you go into because some may be dry counties from what I heard. the. The county where uh, Jack Downs is maybe a dry county. So anyway, regardless of that, hit it up. Pigeon Forge. I'm Ozzy. And this is Bottled in Bond. Cheers.